All right, straight now to the issue of the moment. In addition to the removal of fuel subsidy, President Tinubu raised significant concerns regarding monetary policy. He provided insight into how his administration plans to handle monetary matters, emphasizing the need for an economic overhaul. His goals include achieving higher GDP growth and substantially reducing unemployment in the country. The president proposed accomplishing these objectives through budgetary reform aiming to stimulate the economy without causing inflation. Furthermore, he intends to implement an industrial policy that utilizes various fiscal measures to promote domestic manufacturing and reduce dependence on imports. Well, moving on right now, journalist and social commentator Ayodeji Ake joins me now to discuss further on this uh, development. Many thanks for joining me, Ayo. Good morning to you. All right, uh, if you can hear okay, me, can let's hear me. Um, try. Morning. Yes, we, we can hear you loud and clear now. Let's uh, start this way, Ayo. Yeah, the acting CBN your... governor seems to have his work cut out for him to restore economic confidence among all that policy instruments. Well, just where should he be starting from with lots of expectations from economic players? What should he be doing right now as in the first things first? Okay. Um, first, um, I think I, it's not time. It is not the time for us to start um, jubilating or celebrating governor. And it's also the time for us to celebrate that for the first time in Nigeria, we'll be having two CBN governors. And you ask me why. It's it's a good thing to know that our president, President uh, Bola Metinobu, uh, have a vast knowledge and experience in financing, and he will be asking. Um, in the capacity, not as a CBN governor, but we'll be checkmating um, the operations and the activities in the in the APEX bank, mm. despite the fact that we'll be having um, a CBN governor. And um, from his speech, he has said it several times, that he will ensure that we have exceeded, which I think is key. Because now, um, there, is no, there is no gain saying, there's no news that we are at the crossroad. All right, uh, I'll try and reconnect uh, with uh, Ayode Jackie because there's a whole lot to discuss uh, because uh, before uh, the suspension of uh, you know, the CBN governor, a whole lot of um, issues have actually been on. I have Ayode back. Ayo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry, I think I lost the connection. I was trying to say something. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I was trying to say the president has said the very first thing he has said, and he keeps saying it, is that we are going to have a uniform exchange rate, which I think is key. Okay. And um, if you check what happened recently, um, whereby we have a newspaper publication from Daily Trust saying um, the exchange rate jumped to uh, over 600, and the former um, CBA governor was saying it, um, it's still um, over 400. So this is like, when we have a uniform exchange rate, like the president has said, it will encourage um, a lot of investment, and it will also help the private run, the private um, industry to hit the ground running, as the president has always promised. Yeah. So I think the very first thing the uh, acting governor should do is to ensure that is to ensure that the uniform exchange rate, like the, um, the president has mentioned, is put in place and is currently working to save Nigeria from this economic economic mess we've, um, we've, we've, um, we find ourselves. Um, that, I think, should be the first step. All right. Uh, I, I'm going to take a very quick break. I'm going to bring you in. Now we'll come back. I will talk about the MPC. We'll talk about the interest rate um, that has uh, actually been increased to 18.5% as against uh, an in inflation of over 20%. The Monetary Policy Committee, which uh, the acting um, guy will now chair, has raised the interest rates to 18.5%, um, the highest in decades. Uh, basically, it's all to rein in inflation, uh, which stands at over 22%. What do you think can be done differently this time around? Because we keep on increasing interest rate, we've not really actually gotten the desired effect on inflation. Okay, um, I think the, the interest rate of about um, 18 point, um, about eight, um, over 18 percent is no news and it's really eating the economic hard. And um, if, you, if you, like I said, I think um, this is the first time Nigerians should be happy that they're having a, um, two leadership in the CBN. First, we have the president who will be checkmating the activities of the Central Bank of Nigeria because they have a vast knowledge about finance. And um, I'm sure that because he, un he understands financing, he'll be able to check the activities, despite the fact that we'll be having 
probably acting acting governor or governor in the future. So, um, like I said, one thing the governor, the president, have said ever since he has office is um, trying to unify the exchange rate. Um, I think, you know, trying to um, work on because he also mentioned that you eighteen percent interest rate. It's something that needs to be addressed quickly, which the president during his campaign said he will try as much as possible to reduce to about 6%. Yes, it's not a magician, like I will say. And these politicians, they have, uh, it's not what we should expect tomorrow morning. But for him to have envisaged that he will be, he will be um, reducing the interest rate to 6%, let's just give him a pass mark of about 10. So if the president can work on bringing it to about 10, so I'll, uh, to about 10%, I think subsequently, there will be a change. And how can you do this? We have a lot of, um, for example, we have um, 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 a lot of activities around the um, um, commercial activities that can aid this. Now, if you check what the, um, the president has uh, have done, like about two weeks, first, in his um, opening remarks, um, presidential opening remarks, he mentioned that there is nothing like um, first subsidies. Now, that, this will help us to have enough funds, the federal government will have enough funds to do other things. To maybe not palliative, yes, there have been a lot of issues on palliative, but palliative will definitely not reduce the interest rates. And another thing is, um, the uniform um, exchange rate, like you have said, will give um, peace in the market, in the exit market, whereby so you're giving opportunities to a lot of foreign investors and even private investors to, um, you know, to, um, to be able to balance uh, their businesses. Now, it's quite unfortunate that in this part of the world, it's worrisome that private investors cannot even assess loan. Imagine if you are trying to, if you are assessing loan for, um, to, um, to a point of about over 18%, I don't know what um, the personal profit of the private organization would be for them to eat the ground running. And with this 18.1%, 18 if you ask me, if you go around, if you do this uh, visibility mm. study and investigate, investigation, we discover that a lot of private um, companies has, um, it, it, uh, has failed to exist. So I feel first, the giant strike the president have taken first, saying they should, uh, we should have a unified exchange rate, should be the first step. And it's not even time for us to start applauding the acting CBN government, shouldn't it be, because you have a whole lot to do in this office. So um, from that, and also, um, like the full subsidy um, removal uh, fund, the president has said it's, it's about um, it's about um, over eleven trillion naira, if I'm not mistaken, which is um, taking about um, I think almost fifty percent of the twenty twenty three budget. So if we can have that in reserve, if we can give opportunities to private companies to access the loan, mm. um, affordable loan, accessible loan, definitely we are heading somewhere. Okay, uh, so, but the president in his inaugural statement has his eye on, uh, you know, achieving um, growth for the economy. He's actually targeting uh, 6% and um, yearly output growth. I wonder how this can be achievable if you look at uh, the policies the CBN has had over time. You know, our interest rate is about 18.5% and um, banks are really lending at a high rate. Even with the cash reserve ratio what the uh, banks um, has uh, or have, what the CBN is about um, 32.5%, which is like uh, amongst one of the highest in, um, in the world. So if the banks are expected to reserve such amounts, you know, with the CBN, and that means they don't really have so much, you know, to appropriate for loans uh, to actually stimulate the economy. Do you really see Nigeria, uh, the country, achieving this um, uh, task, or uh, this um, tall uh, order of 6% uh, um, yearly output growth with all of um, the economic uh, mismatches that we've had over time? All right, I think I lost um, Ayodele. Um, okay, I'll see if we can um, join him um, again because there's a whole lot that we really need to talk about. Um, the president uh, seems to have um, uh, the economic blueprints um, that he uh, wants to achieve uh, with um, the country, and um, he actually has hit the ground running uh, with um, all of that he has said during his inaugural uh, speech. Uh, do we have um, Ayo back? Okay. Uh, so we still need to talk about uh, the issue of um, wins, uh, means uh, it used to be about 5%. Uh, from what we hear right now, the Senate has actually um, pegged it, has actually approved that uh, it will be pegged right now uh, to a limit of about 15%. We need to know about how 
all of this would actually play out in affecting the economy. And of course, I will see just how that goes uh, in the coming months. And I will see just how far uh, Shonobi would be uh, doing concerning that. Uh, thanks for joining us again, Ayo. Ayo, can you hear me? All right, uh, before... Uh, yeah, before we lost connection there, we're talking about um, the president uh, uh, retreating his commitment to a 6% yearly output growth. And uh, I'm wondering how all of that can be achievable with most of the policy mismatches that uh, we've had with um, the Central Bank of Nigeria. Okay, I was, I was about to address that question you said. Okay. Now, don't forget that the president is not a magician. Like <laughs> no, I've yeah. said, if you ask me, I don't think the 6% is uh, is possible in a year or two, mm -hmm. but we are getting somewhere. If we are at um, 18, over eighteen percent as we speak now, and the president is able to work within a span of um, um a year to at least reduce it to about fourteen or thirteen, then we are moving somewhere. Then subsequently in the following year, if we can achieve to about ten percent, definitely it will work. Mm -hmm. So I think we just need to. Yes, Nigerians are impatient. But we just need to give the president and we need to give the working um, and the, um, the CBN enough time to get their bearing. Like I've said, I'm, I think I'm, I'm happy and I'm so impressed that the first time Nigeria is having, will be having two leaders, two <laughs> CBN leaders, <laughs> the president and the CBN governor. Because the <laughs> president himself have a vast and, you know, experience in the financing sector. So yes, I think it's going to be a fantastic journey. And like you said... Um, it's quite impossible. I've, I think I've mentioned it for private uh, private investors, private organizations, private companies to strive in this 18% um, 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 circle. So, but we can't hide the, we can't hide from the fact that the major stream of in income Nigeria is having to come from the NMPCL. True. So, and good enough. What I think we, we um, thank God, um, say, um, there's nothing like false subsidy again, according to the president. So, if you give them the opportunity, we can eat for a street the NMPC to the PMS and through gas. So by doing this, we have enough fund, we have enough reservation, and our companies, our businesses will have um, affordable and accessible loans. So I'm not expecting the president in the, in the span of one year yeah. to reduce um, the interest rate to 6%. It's not a matter but I'm, 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 I'm envisaging that in the, in, clairvoyantly, in the next two years, in the next two years, if we can draw from 18% to about 9 or 10, hmm. then we are heading somewhere. All right. Thank so uh, let's talk about um, government um, borrowing, specifically uh, the issue of um, ways and means uh, you know, that has been in the news uh, recently. Uh, with the hasty amendment of the statutory provision extending the borrowing limit to 15% of the previous year's uh, revenue of the federal government, wouldn't this be more burden on the Central Bank of Nigeria? Come again, I didn't hear that. The line was breaking. Sorry. I, didn't I was talking that. about uh, the ways and means. It used to be about um, 5%, but not uh, too long ago, uh, the Senate has actually approved and brought it um, up to about 15%. The borrowing limits to about 15% of the previous year's revenue of the federal government. I'm thinking, don't you think it would be a bit more of a burden on the Central Bank of Nigeria? Now, if recently, I think the, um, the former, it should be former now because they are having their um, election as we speak. Mm. The former Senate President Lama mentioned during, um, during the voluntary service that, uh, you know, they are not robust stamp Senate due to the fact that the, the, yeah, the previous administration had a lot of borrowing and they had to, um, you know, they had to assent to the borrowing um, um, request. But from his dispensation, he made it clear. That there is no way they could run the the, run the, the government and uh, the government the previous administration could run the government without borrowing. Now, come to think of it, we have a, we have um we have um, a budget of, of about um, a national uh, twenty three budget of um, over twenty three trillion naira. Mm. And as we speak, I can bet you that Nigeria is broke. Now mm. look at it. The president even yesterday that that is supposed to be uh, that was um, uh, we celebrated the democracy day yesterday. And two days ago, the presidency mentioned that it's going to be celebrated low-key, which simply means that there is no need for us to jump Eureka, and there's no money. Nigeria is broke. We need to set this record straight. So, well, if you say it's going to be a burden on the central um, central bank, yes, maybe yes, but that is why we have um, um, we have uh, professionals mm. as leaders. Yeah, I, I'm not having any issue that uh, okay. shouldn't be as an engineering background, but that man has been in the financing sector 
for over 30 uh, for over three decades now for over 30 years mm. so which i'm banking on his experience i'm not, and we we as nigeria are also banking on the president's experience all right which uh, he has he has he has um in the finance sector so i feel yes it's going to be much of a burden on the central bank but with the best hand on ground we are going to survive this um all right, Ayo, Ayo, now very quickly as we round off now, you know, at the start of the year, it was uh, uh, cash light, uh, Dara redesign, Nigerians uh, were actually going through a whole lot. Uh, even um, the president, when he was doing um, his campaign, uh, he was actually not really in support of um, how CBN had actually gone about it. Now, we have about six months to the issue, uh, December 31st. Uh, the new banknotes are, are still uh, running side by side with the old ones, you know. But Nigerians are still saying that um, they are technically not seeing the new currency. They are practically out of circulation. We have until the end of uh, December. That's about um, six months, uh, if I'm not um, wrong. What does Shonubi uh, have in his hand? How does he actually handle all of that and with this whole narrow redesign policy? Or what should he be doing differently? I think for, <clears throat> I think for Shonubi should admit the fact that the narrow redesign note um, was a total failure. Mm. Under the previous CBN CBN governor, and yes, it is it is good that um, we now have the um, the opportunity to to tender the two the old and the new Naira notes. Mm. So, but what Shonibi can do as as it's picked now, the Naira design notes we see half time, if you ask me. Mm. Now you can't redesign notes when the economy is having issues. Okay. We see half time. We can't let's continue spending. Well, for me, if you ask me. I can't, I can't even tell you the last time I saw the new notes, mm -hmm. if you ask me. So which simply means that the new notes does not even exist, or maybe it's still <laughs> existing. Yeah. I don't know. And Nigerians will tell you they don't know. So what? All right. I, I, we seem to have lost them I, uh, again. But uh, unfortunately, we are out of time. I actually just wanted to get um, his thought concerning what Shonibi could have done or can do concerning uh, you know, the Naira redesign. Uh, you know, we have um, Belly uh, December 31st uh, just staring at us in the face. Well, thank you, Ayo Deji, once again for your time. But that's the most we can take on the show for today. Uh, we'll return again same time tomorrow. My name is Justin Akadonia. See you again next time. Bye for now.